Hi, uh, my name is Taylor Briggs and I am GSBA's Scholarship Program Manager. We know that the COVID-19 epidemic has impacted every aspect of, of everyday life, um, but it has a serious economic impact um, specifically on our scholars um, who are often um, already struggling financially, trying to put themselves through school, um, and, and now with these specific um, repercussions of, of losing employment, uh, there's just a lot of uncertainty. So today we're talking with third year GSBA scholar, Elmer Correa. And um, with that being said, Elmer, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Elmer Correa. I currently attend Pacific Lutheran University. I am a third year GSBA scholar and I'm studying uh, Hispanic studies, business administration and with a focus on accounting. I'm set to start in the fall with Price Waterhouse Coopers in their core assurance line of service. And I think a uh, short term goal would be to pass um, all of the sections of the CPA exam and enroll in a master's program and hopefully continue to give back to the community, whether that's through um, volunteer income tax preparation uh, programs in the community. And hopefully just to be able to use the skills that I'm learning to help improve the overall, um, the overall progress in our community. As you know, we are doing some work with scholars through the Beaks Open Arms Fund. Um, and we were feel very fortunate to have been able to supported you with some of that funding. Would you mind speaking to the impact that that had or, or just hearing that that is available for yourself and, and fellow scholars? I think the direct support for the community has been, has just had this ripple effect. So via funding for like health or housing or food, has just been really fundamental right now. So it has allowed me to be able to um, help support my family, but then right now, because I, I can't be with them, I, um, I'm able to at least get groceries and pay for my rent and other basic necessities until I'm able to um, start my, my job in the fall, which everything's up in the air right now, but I think that if yeah. I don't have that support, then um, it would be much more difficult. And I think another another part of this was just the, just the tremendous need for social connection right now. I think just being able to have um, members of the GSBA uh, reach out to me and just converse about my overall well-being, um, I think it kind of helps tip the balance more towards unity um, in this, during this uncertain time. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I think it's been super important to be connecting with you all as scholars and just um, with friends and, and family. So um, I'm super thankful that you are a part of the GSBA family. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Elmer, for sharing a little bit more about yourself and, and what you're experiencing right now. Um, as a GSBA staff, our main concern right now is to be in touch with our scholars, to make sure that they're, they're doing well um, and that they have the resources that they need um, to help finish and continue their education. Uh, one of the ways that we're doing that that Elmer mentioned is the Beaks Family Open Arms Fund, which we are able to distribute uh, cash grants to scholars to help with basic needs like housing, food, textbooks, um, anything that is impacting their ability to continue their education um, and to move on to the bright futures that they all have ahead of themselves. So stay tuned for more of these uh, interviews and check-ins with our scholars. Um, just as we want to be checking in with them, we want you all to be aware of, of where they are, how they're doing, and how you can better support them.